It's The Tonight Show tonight, but it's actually one o'clock in the afternoon with Sophia Mason. Hello, America, and welcome to this Tonight Show tonight, except it's one in the afternoon. I'm your host, Sophia Mason, and I'm so happy to be here today, I guess. It is Wednesday, March 24th, and you know what Wednesdays mean. It's time for a reoccurring segment. We bring people back from the dead in a totally legal way to ask them about their scandals. For today's segment, we have a rather important figure in American history. You either love him or you hate him. Or let's be honest, we all hate him. The 37th President of the United States, Richard M. Nixon. Hello, 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 America. I'm so honored to be here tonight. Good afternoon, Mr. Nixon. How has the afterlife been treating you? Oh, you know, a little dark, a little cold. Of course, it's time to fellow dead people. Ah, I see, I see. Now, Mr. Nixon, you're seen as one of the most controversial presidents in U.S. history and the first and only president so far to resign from office. How do you feel about that? Well, you see, Sophia, I don't really care what the public thinks about me. It's not like the huge things I did as a president had a huge impact on our country, and my scandal definitely did not follow me to my grave. Well, Mr. Nixon, I'm sad to tell you this, but most Americans only remember you for your Watergate and how you took the cowardly way out to avoid removal from office. Some don't even know about your strong foreign policy legislation with China and the former Soviet Union or the Environmental Protection Agency you established. I did that? Well, sorry, your brain gets a little foggy after you die. I understand how America can see me as a villain after I did some really corrupt things like having my administration bug the DNC headquarters to possibly cheat for my re-election. But hey, I'm no villain. How can I be a villain if I establish environmental laws to push America in the right direction towards combating climate change? Mr. Nixon, you were caught saying that environmentalists wanted to live like damned animals, so I think even they can sort of see you as a villain. Well, yeah, I did say that. But guess what I also did? I ended the draft and withdrew troops from the war in Vietnam through Vietnamization, ultimately ending America's role in the war. That's true, Mr. Nixon. But in April of 1975, the Northern Vietnamese took over the capital of South Vietnam, ultimately ending with the union of the two governments and the prevail of communism, the method of government that you loathed. All I can say about that is that if it happened under Ford, then ultimately it wasn't my fault. And what comments do you have to say about how you quite literally created stagflation and tanked the American economy? I had good intentions, Sophia. I had no idea that it would have end up like that. I just wanted to push my economic conservative views through legislation that I thought would benefit all Americans across the country. I want to do what's best for the country and what's best for the people. It's funny that all presidents say the same thing. Speaking of the economy, we'll have to cut to our sponsor. Hit it. Hello, America. My name is Latoura Gatte, and I'm here to present you with an innovative new invention. This device is called the tape breaker. Are you in a pickle? Do you need to destroy audio evidence because you're about to go to court and will inevitably be removed from office? Well, boy oh boy, do we have a product for you. The tape breaker is an easy way to simply and efficiently destroy damning evidence against you in a jiffy. Here's how it works. Simply open the beautiful device using its efficient zipper system and insert your tape cautiously as to not corrupt the evidence any further. Zip the device back up, hold on to it firmly, and give it a little shake. Continue shaking for two to five business days, and voila, your tape is officially breaked. For the cheap price of $1,969, you can get out of any legal pickle. Visit our website to get your tape breaker now. Thanks, Latura. Now one final question for you, Mr. Nixon. If you were to change anything about your presidency or the scandal that followed it, what would it be? To be honest with you, Sophia, if I were to change something about my presidency, I think I would do more peace sign, seeing as if we are in a tight space in both foreign and domestic affairs and following the totally real law of science that peace signs ultimately bring more peace. If I would have done more peace signs during my presidency, I would have never been impeached at all. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, Mr. Nixon. And to our audience, be sure to tune in next Wednesday where we'll be talking with the one and only Rasputin. Thank you, America, and good night. Or good afternoon. <laughs>